Same imperative in place as last week. Just win, baby, as Al Davis used to say. Hi, everybody, along with Art Mandelbaum and the judge, Phil Hauk. I'm Joe Parson. Second down and 10. Short drop, looking to throw. Bosher looks left, throws right over the middle. To perfect delivery. First down across the 35. Up to Aaron Knight. He's got the catch around the 38-yard line. And I mean, Bosier hit Aaron Knight right on the belt buckle. And comes in with 328 receiving yards. He adds that total. Here's Bosier now airing it out near side. Colin Harriff has got the catch across the 45 to the 47. Bosier again out of the pistol. Taking a look. Long count from the line of scrimmage. Now they reset. And uh, now Bozier looks, Blitz is coming. No, they faked that, and Campbell knifes through the center of the line with a tackler, and that was Camp holding on. But it's a gain up just short of the 45-yard line for Antoine Campbell. Antoine Campbell remains the running back, lined up behind. Here's Bozier looks, fires him up, and uh, boy, tough delivery, and the catch is made by Kobe Fry with a defender draped over his shoulder. USF effectively their second possession of the ball game. High snap, Bozier swings the ball right side. Campbell cuts to the 50, 45, and cartwheels out of bounds on the far side, somewhere around the 43-yard line. But he's been uh, impressive already in the early going. They brought in another defensive back, so they're playing a nickel defense now. And they've got cover two back there as well. And here we go as Bozier needs 11 yards on this third down call. Drops the throw, looks, checks off, throws over the middle. He's got Bustamani inside the 15 to the 5 and a touchdown. So you needed 11, you'll take much more. You'll take 39 yards and a touchdown toss. Bozier threaded the needle. He had it high enough over the defender, and Bustamani ran the last 13 yards to Peter. Joe, that's brilliant scheme, and that's Kevin Donnelly football right there. Blue Devils were here. And uh, you, you're still sitting on some of the same chairs that they had back then, I think. Here's a run, and that time uh, USF shuts it down for a very little gain at the, just across the 25-yard line. Here we go, empty backfield. Brent Heisen to throw. Pockets collapsing, throws. He's oh, no. got a man downfield, and there's the catch made. Run inside the 30. Stinch couldn't wrap up. It'll be an easy touchdown. Sergeant shows the ball to the fans on his way to the field. That is going to be a 74-yard touchdown play as Quincy's on the board there, a conversion from tying this ball game up. Wow. I don't know what you say. So Justin Bozier uh, trying to hang on to the football now. USF has been victimized. Four fumbles here already in this first half. Bozier time in the pocket all day. Throws and hits a receiver in the seam at the 42-yard line of Quincy. That's a good delivery and a good grab by Armando Bustamante. A little comeback pattern. Quincy back in cover two defensively. Now they uh, shift out of that a little bit. They drop back in zone as Fry comes out. to give us to Campbell. Running room at the 40. 35. Right side. Trying to get a block at the 30. 25. 15. 10. 5. Touchdown, Antoine Campbell. He went out of bounds. They said he went out of bounds at the 14. I thought he was clear, but the line judge was right there. On this second down 11 call, long count from the line of scrimmage. Here's a low roll to the left side. They throw to an open receiver. That's Bryce Thornton down inside the 10 to the 9. They'll keep the clock moving with 7.20 remaining. Fry up on the wing to the right side. Andre Turner comes in at fullback. And Campbell is the halfback. He comes in motion, and they give the ball to Andre Turner, and he plows ahead down to the six. Let's call it a 24-yard attempt. Little, uh, well, actually, middle of the field. And a bad snap again. That's fumbled away, picked up by Carmen. Looking to throw. He's got a man open. Boy, I tell you what, he had two men open, and he chose the wrong one. Quincy's ball, and they've got it on their own six-yard line. And they hand off the run, Sammons, and Sammons runs into a wall at the five. He's going to lose a yard. Boy, that was a good tackle. I think it was Cowboy who came up and made it. Backs up now to the goal line. Little motion right to left. He needs 11 yards to the 16 to convert. Trying to screen the ball. He's got Salmon. Salmon's cut to the 5, to the 10, and knocked down at the 15-yard line. He's close to a first down. down. He's got it. The short side of the field. Empty backfield. Bryn Heisen, time of the pocket, and he runs out, and he's sacked at the 10-yard line, and the Cougars were coming that time. Draven Stott got him, came off the corner. Nothing fancy. It was a three-man rush. We were in a uh, passing defense. Little motion from right to left. One of the, that's Gower, the intended receiver. Here's a middle screen. They've got Castleberry. Castleberry running across the 10 to the 15, got to the 16-yard line, so he, he gets uh, a lot of that lost yardage back, but he'll still bring up third down and 10. 
Third down and 11, and Brennheisen again to throw. Steps up in the pocket, scrambling to his right, and they've got him. Did he hold on to the ball? Call timeout, please. Brought down across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Sorry about that. I got a little excited. First and 10, USF in a 7-7 tie. Bozier with two wide to the right side. Takes the snap, looks, hands it off. No play action fake, wants to throw. He's got Cam Colvin down deep, and oh, tips the ball back to himself. Touchdown! Volleyballed the ball to himself inside the five and made the catch 50 yards on the touchdown play. And USF back on front at 1370. I do not believe that. That was unbelievable, Joe. Austin Coleman, the ball was really overthrown, and I think he was interfered with because the defender was literally on his back. He reached out and jumped and tipped the ball up and then ran under it and caught it and kept going. The defender fell down at about the 10-yard line. And who needed the timeout there before? We only needed time to make one play, eight seconds. He's a pretty good, talented player in his own right. And here's Bozier wanting to throw. The screen is set up nicely, 35-40. And a run for the first down. That's Knight on the receiving end across the Cougar 45 to the 47-yard line. Bozier ready to take the snap. Short drop, now throws back to the left. And wow, let's see, laying out for it is Knight. Nice. Did he get a foot in bounds? He did a catch and another first down at the 43. Let's see if Bozier uh, spots him. Here is a pass, though. The Knight again at the 40 to the 35, down to the, to the uh, inside the 30 to the 29-yard line is where they spot him down. They'll move the chain, so the clock stops with 104 remaining. Empty backfield for Bozier. Motion out of it. Josh uh, Miller, and they hand the ball off. He swints to go to the right. It brings it back to the middle and gets five yards, or about four, actually, to about the 25-yard line. Now sets up the wide to the right side as Bozier wants to throw to him in the slots. Got him and takes a big hit and lost the ball. The Cougars jump on it at the 16-yard line. So, and that may be good enough for a first down. It will be. And here is Bozier with the snap. Option run to the left side. Wants the throw and airs it out to the 11-yard line. Bryce Thornton made the catch from the 18-yard line, 19-yard line. Let's call it a 29-yard attempt. And the ball is set down this time. The kick is long enough. Is it on target? And it is good. A 29-yard field goal by M.O. Eber will make it a 17-7 ball game. USF on top will keep things right here with 17.9 seconds remaining. Coach, uh, your offense threw the ball extremely well in the first half. Ball security an issue, though. Yeah, I don't know. Crazy stuff. You know, we just didn't hang on the football. We turned it over once. I didn't want to win the football very well. We're going to try to do better this half. Okay, well, good luck in the second half, Coach. A lot of talk in the locker room about that ball security issue. We only turned the ball over once, but it resulted in a lot of negative yards when we did put the ball on the turf. Second down and 11 after the lost yardage, and a pitch comes right side. Antoine Campbell bobbled the ball, leaps over one tackler, Ooh. and dives for a first down stick. Boy, that was dangerous because he just gave up the body and lands after he went airborne down to the 33. That's just short of the first down stick. He's out of the goal line. Set comes in. They'll hand the ball to Campbell and up the middle. Second effort easily inside the 30 and down to about the 28-yard line. And see if Turner's in there. Andre Turner at fullback. Motion by Campbell. They give the Turner off tackle run, counter run, and he bowls his way down close to the 20-yard line. Cougars stay in that same goal line offense. Everybody tight except for one uh, wide out. Motion out of it, right to left. They'll hand the ball off in a sweep. That's Kobe Fry, needed a block. Cuts at the 20, leaps over Ooh. tacklers again. Goes airborne down to the 15-yard line. And long count from the line of scrimmage. Here's the screen. They've got Knight. Cuts at the 20, 15. Steps out of a tackle. Spins inside the 10 and dumped down around the 7-yard line. That's a nice job of running the yak yards. And Bozier under center. Looks, hands the ball off. Campbell off angle run and banged around. But uh, Karams is way down to the 5-yard line. And that should move the chains. It'll be first and goal. He's got uh, Kobe Fry up on the wing to the right side. Nearly fumbled the ball. Hands it off. There's Campbell looking for the goal line. Did he? get in yep. officials touchdown that will be a Saint touchdown Francis. run of four yards and Antoine Campbell four chopped down but he crossed the plane of the goal Antoine time Campbell. of the score at 554 here in the third quarter Cougars have Vandenbosch coming up near side on Sargent play action fake the rush is on and Brenheisen is tripped up and dropped Cougars had three converging including Vandenbosch Grabenstadt and they bring Brenheisen down with a lost backer outside the 45. Little motion, Castleberry behind the line of scrimmage, right to left. Brenheisen drops the throw, screens the ball once again, and ran right into Vandenbosch, says, not this time, my friend. 
they'll lose another yard. How many times are you going to go to that well and fool us? Thank goodness, you know. Maybe they know something we don't know. A little deja vu. As here is the, the play action fake. Rennheisen wants to throw the ball and knocked away. And it was Richardson again that came up and just got a finger on the ball. So the Cougars hold on fourth down. And Bozier with the snap, hand on the draw. Here's Campbell, running room, 45-40. Knocked down, he's got a first down, though, at the 37-yard uh -oh. line. Uh-oh, he and got twisted, and he's, he's not getting up yet. A blitz coming defensive left side. Looked like they might have encroached again. Here's a nice catch. That ball was out there quickly to Kobe Fry. You know, he goes 5'8", and he just turned around in that little crossing pattern. The ball was just above the helmet, and good reaction job to bring up fourth down in less than a yard. With Fry up on the wing, motion to the right side, and boy, nice job, Justin Bozier. Just took everybody, about six guys in that pile with him inside the 25 to the 24. They've got him, but they're not working as Bozier takes the snap. Play action fake, pivots to his left. Looks nice, screen pass, dumps it off the Fry. Stays in bounds nicely, bumped out of bounds, and. Uh, they'll move the chains anyways. He's got uh, the ball down just inside the 12-yard line. 29 yards is hit today. Carmen is the holder from 32 yards, right-footed kick. He's got the distance. Does he have the angle on the way? And good. 32-yard field goal, add three to the Cougar total. And they're up here in Quincy, 27-7 to with 9-12 remaining. And now he comes back in motion. They'll hand the ball to him. And boy, he was nailed at the 42-yard line. Cowball again. Ooh, kind of a little frustration there, I sense. That was pretty big hit. So five. Brenheisen, short drop, looking, scrambling, steps up. Looking to his right, there's a penalty flag and spun around and dropped again back at the 40-yard line as the Cougars were coming again defensively as Ethan Chappell got there. And Wes Hunsucker motion and uh, keeps the ball himself running room, cuts to the 35-yard line and lost the ball, but he was down on contact around the 33. And then wants to throw it this time. As he looks, pulls it down, checks off, flush to his left. He'll run the 30 to the 25 and steps out of bounds around the 20, inside the 23-yard line. Now it's third down and two. Hunsucker under center this time with Atwood and hands the ball. Here's Derek working right side. Angles to the 20, cuts back 15. He's at the 10, looking for another move down to the five-yard line. Derek Atwood reading the blocking scheme very well and a good run. Now it's second and goal, still from the five-yard line. And once again, the ball popped free. And the Cougars who had five fumbles in the first half. Let's see if they get the ball back here inside the five. Oh, boy. I think Quincy's got it. Maybe try to come with a hard count as well. But uh, Brenheisen under center does hand the ball off. I think we stopped I don't them. think they got there. We stopped them. It's a loss of yardage. And they've done it today on the road, and they'll have to do it next week uh, in Upland against Taylor. Unsucker might be the final play of the game. Screens, throws the ball. Kobe Fry at the five, dies for the pylon, lost the ball. How are they going to rule it? Touchdown. Touchdown. So Fry broke the plane of the goal. He took three steps inside the five, so he had possession. Not a situation where he had to maintain control throughout to the ground. And Hunsecker dials up with a touchdown pass to Kobe Fry. And St. Francis will come away with this 34-7 victory on a day that they needed to make a statement and get a win, and they did today on the road against a very improving Quincy University Hawks football team. Well, Joe, I thought that was impressive. We still have uh, butterfingers with the football, and we've got to do a lot better taking care of it. But we came over here as tough uh, circumstances, a long bus ride, nine hours for the team. We got here late because of some bus problems by one of the buses. I don't even know if you, know, you knew that. They got a two-hour delay coming out of Fort Wayne, and so we got here late. Fortunately, on Illinois Road, though. Yeah. Right here. Instead of down somewhere on I-70. Right in our own backyard. Phil's waiting for... Coach D to get done talking with the opposing coach. Teams exchanging handshakes. Let's go down to the judge and the coach. Thanks a lot, Joe. Uh, coach, congratulations. 25-point victory here today. Hard fought. Your team looked, though, like they were on the verge of really scoring a whole lot more points. Well, we were. You know, we made some mistakes of just basic fundamentals of handling the ball, coming out from under center too quickly and so forth. But uh, I thought we played a good defensive ball game. They had their quarterback back in their different team when they got him. Um, it was a good game, you know, long trip, uh, overcame some adversity, broken down bus before we get out of town, you know, so we, we, we dealt with some things, but good win.
Coach, a couple of weeks ago, your defense had given up a bunch of points, and you'd lost two out of three games, and uh, you really righted the ship. Talk about the challenges that you've faced the last couple of weeks. You know, it's all about what you perceive about yourself. You know, we, we lost a couple of games to pretty good football teams. We didn't play our best. We've had injuries. And all those things add up. But uh, the kids are uh, more resilient than the coaches are, I think, sometimes, and bounce back. And we're just trying to get them healthy, trying to get them in uh, playoff form. All right, congratulations, Coach, on uh, that's win 252 for Kevin Donnelly. And the playoff drive continues. Two more games, and uh, the Cougars should be a shoe in. Let's get down to the judge and Alan Richardson. You had a pretty fun day out there today, didn't you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I did. I did. It's, 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 it's always a good day when we just come out here and play football. Well, talk about the challenge you had, uh, especially at halftime. I know a lot of talk about their two wide receivers, Dickens and Sargent, and how we were going to try and put the clamps on them because they they gained some yards in that first half. What did we do in the second half to shut them down? Well, like, what, what we did was we uh, we, we, we had our, our outside backers come out and help our, help us cornerbacks. So so the outside backers would get in their face, give them pressure, and they would pass them off to me and the other cornerbacks, and we just had, we had to do what we were supposed to do, make plays, and that's what we did. One particular big play I thought you made in the second half was when we never knew whether their, uh, their quarterback was going to punt the ball or throw the ball, but they ended up running the fake punt late in the third quarter, and you came up with a big play. Talk about what you saw on that play. Well, well at halftime, we, uh, we, uh, we made an adjustment. The coach said, fourth down, stay in coverage. Like, don't, don't even worry about a punt. Stay in coverage. So I dropped back. I used my zone technique. I saw a ball being thrown. I broke the ball. Tried to pick it off, but I was just a step too late. You know, this defense had given up more than 40 points in three consecutive games. Mm -hmm. Did that serve as any source of uh, motivation for you guys? Because you played much better the last two games. I mean, of, of course you did. Because uh, coming coming from last year, we had nine returning starters, and so we we we, we got complacent, I think. And and and. People putting up 40 points on us, us losing twice, that, that's, that's, that's not typical of, of the Cougars. So, so we had to turn it around because every, 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 every game we play now, we're playing for playoffs. So, so we had to make the adjustments we had to make and come out on top. Well said. Two more games and then we're into the playoffs. Congratulations on a great performance today on the field, Alan. I've also got uh, Aaron Knight here. Aaron, who had uh, six catches today, 83 yards. Uh, a pretty big day. I think he had five of those catches in the first half. So when the offense was kind of turning the ball over and sputtering a little bit, you kept things going. Also, uh, a nice job of returning punts today. Uh, just talk about what the offense was seeing out there today. You're moving the ball well, but little mistakes were causing us problems. Yeah, I mean, we got to stop, stop turning over. Um, you know, we had a problem in the past. That problem in the past. Uh, we just got to overcome that. Get better every game. And uh, I mean, hopefully we'll learn and um, get that under control. Well, what areas of this offense right now, uh, you know, we lose two out of three games. What areas have been the focus in practice that we're trying to improve from week to week? I mean, keep doing what we're doing, really. I mean, we did Spurs St. next. We had a great game. I mean, we just, I mean, we just didn't get it done, but we just did a lot of plays that, that helped us out. Well, your, your own personal game has been strong. I mean, you're a good possession receiver, and obviously hands are are your best attribute because you're back there fielding punts. Talk about your own game and uh, where you're going with that. Yeah, I mean, I'm just considered as a possession receiver. I don't really go deep at all. I mean, I would like to every once in a while. I'd like to catch some fish. I've seen you move your hips a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, on third downs is, is my thing. I, I'm, I know how to get open, uh, get in, uh, work, the, work the middle, so... Congratulations to the Cougars, uh, another victory and a, really what amounts to a playoff victory and two more hopefully and then we'll be in the playoffs. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, we can do it. We got it. No, no big deal. All right. Sounds good, son, young man. Thanks very much for being on the postgame show. Guys, on, on Antoine Campbell, the uh, injury, he was out of the game, as you can see. It's iced. He's on crutches. Uh, he's going to be a week-to-week -week thing. Hopefully that ankle sprain is something that will heal pretty quick. He's obviously pretty important to this offense. Uh, Cougar's a little thin at that position right now. Back to you.